California good girl posts disturbing photos, parents horrified when they see them. A 23-year-old woman from California, who was adopted and raised by conservative Christian parents, is deciding to destroy a lifetime of faith-based upbringing, which was proven after she posted disturbing photos online that left her parents horrified as they realized the intended purpose. Her shocking decision has left thousands of viewers across social media stunned and appalled. According to Daily Mail, 23-year-old Bailey Gibson from Sacramento, California, was raised in a strict Christian household by loving parents who adopted her at the age of one. As a young teen, Gibson enjoyed the blessings of a loving family and was sent to an all-girls boarding school in Missouri to receive a top-tier education. Despite her many privileges in life, Bailey recently decided to take the lifelong investments of love and resources provided by her family and send them up in smoke with five words about her virginity. According to The Mirror, Gibson, who had previously said she was saving herself for marriage, has now decided to sell her virginity to the highest bidder. She has unfortunately chosen to break away from her Christian values and auction off her first sexual experience at Nevada infamous brothel, the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Gibson decision reportedly comes after her ex-boyfriend cheated on her twice. What an awful route for such a promising and intelligent young person to take. Gibson says she hopes to use the money from selling her virginity to make a better life for herself. In a blog that she writes, Gibson said, Society perceives me as a deviant, and I am okay with that. At the end of the day, it is my body. I have the right to do what I want with it. Going through the bunny ranch allows me to legally have sex for money. Does this make me a prostitute? I don't know. If you take a picture once, does that make you a photographer? It's very sad to see that a lifetime of good upbringing is going to waste. I do not think that capitalizing upon your purity makes you a bad person. She added, just like having sex with multiple men does not make you a bad person. We all make choices. Mine was to wait. Now it is to sell. Gibson explained in her blog that her biological mother gave her up for adoption when she was only one. Her struggling mother already had another child and was trying to put herself through college. Gibson was adopted by a Christian couple in Sacramento where she was raised to be a godly woman. Her adopted father was an elder at her home church in Sacramento. In regard to her upbringing, Gibson said that her adoptive parents were very careful about what she was exposed to. I was not allowed to watch TV, listen to any music other than Christian music, have friends over, or have sleepovers ever, Gibson said. If we did watch a movie, it was on the Hallmark or Disney Channel. If we were allowed to watch TV, we were allowed to only watch programs like Little House on the Prairie, she added. When she was 16 years old, Gibson parents sent her to an all-girls boarding school in Missouri, where there was no contact with boys. Just after she graduated from the all-girls school, Gibson was contacted by her biological father and traveled to North Carolina to meet him before moving in with her fraternal grandmother in Wisconsin. It was in Wisconsin that Gibson met her first boyfriend who agreed with her decision to wait until marriage before they started a sexual relationship. Gibson knew love soon turned to sadness and betrayal after she discovered that her boyfriend had cheated on her by sleeping with his ex-girlfriend on Valentine's Day. Gibson decided to try working things out with her boyfriend through couple therapy but ended the relationship after he revealed he had cheated on her twice. After grieving for a while, I came to the conclusion that waiting until marriage to lose my virginity was the wrong decision because my ex-boyfriend was and worth waiting for, she said. So, I decided that I was going to get something for my virginity something that benefits me and my life. I wanted to lose my virginity in the most profitable way possible. That when I found Dennis Hoff and the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. Hoff did not initially respond to Gibson first email, according to Daily Mail. He later agreed to speak with her and the two set up an auction for Gibson virginity. The sickening auction is now being run on the Bunny Ranch website much like the previous virginity auction in 2008, where Hoff helped Natalie Dillon sell her purity to the highest bidder for millions of dollars. Hoff said, she wanted to save herself for the right guy and live what she thought was a wholesome and righteous life, and the world threw her a nasty curveball. So many millennials find it difficult to get their footing in today post-recession America and young women have it harder than anyone. I applaud Bailey Gibson for using every commodity at her disposal to make a better life for herself and cultivate a prosperous future. I sure he does applaud her, but only because Hoff Brothel will keep half of the final bid price, 
and the other half will go to Gibson. What a disgusting way to honor her adopted parents who invested their lives in a child who would have otherwise been stuck in a much different situation. Gibson was spared the horrific reality that many foster kids find themselves in and given so many advantages. She is right about everyone making their own choices, but what she will also learn is that everyone reaps what they sell.